Hello everyone, this is Taryn with Wonderfully Made Handcrafting and today I have this booklet folio for you that I created for by invitation only. This was a devotional from By the Will for God for July 2024 and so I included some fun um, family pictures of weddings. This was my grandparents and their wedding invitation in the background um, and I just added those in to this booklet folio. Now I only used one of the signatures that were included in the packaging and I also had some issues with the binding. So I ended up using some fabric to bind this all together but there are grommets already punched in here but they're punched like down here which makes it super hard to get a tight fit in your signature into the gutter. Um, so that was a little bit frustrating. Um, so you'll see I have this little tie and then I have this tie of seam binding. So it's a lot, um, but it ends up working just fine. So anyways, this is my cover. I have this little um, die cut that I did um, previous to getting my kit. I actually did a bunch of things beforehand, which I usually don't get to do, um, but I wanted to make sure that I was prepared for this kit because I was going to be out of town for a little bit. And so this made it easier to get a bunch of pages done and batch them um, when I had some pieces already created. So anyways, I am going to open this up and then we will start on the inside. Okay, so the first page I have is my grandparents' wedding photo, and then I created this tag. This was really, really fun. Um, this is crackle paste, um, like this, distressed crackle paste, and then using paint and distressed products to really bring out um, the cracks in there. I was a little bit sad covering so much of it up, um, but I do like the end result of it. And then we have some floral pieces from the kit. I stamped out Grace of God and embossed it and then did a wax seal right there, which is one of the ones I had in my stash. And then the next page, I have Romans 3, 23 and 24. This was one of my simpler pages. I didn't do a process video for this one, um, but I really enjoy how it turned out. I have a little bit of crocheted lace on the edge of these two papers. This is from the six by eight paper pack. And then this was also part of the kit. This was one of the verse cards that was included. I have these little mini envelopes and I included my parents' wedding invitation, which actually went really well with the colors of this page. And so that's why I just tucked it in there. Now this wax seal I did with some um, hot glue wax on the inside and also some of the clear stickers. So I just kind of poured some hot glue wax um, on the clear stickers and then stamped out my stamp and then cut this out and then it did the color portion and then I glued them together. So that is how I did that. I also added a little bit of Sharpie, metallic Sharpie around the edges so you can see that embossed area of the stamp. Next page is my favorite. This one is of my mom. It reminds me, like I said, I think during my process video, um, this reminds me of Princess Diana for some reason, but I just love this picture of my mom. And then I have some frames from Tim Holtz. These were the newer frames that were released. This is my little um, binding <laughs> that's holding that all together. Um, and then I I uh, did some texture paste in the background, a bunch of layers on this page. And I loved the little hem paper that we had. I also added some alcohol ink tape that I previously made, stamped out Christ is Enough using that little saying stamp set that was released alongside this kit. And then this is some fabric washi from 49 and Market. So I think this is my favorite page that I did. But there is also this one, which is pretty fun. Another one of these frames popping in here. This one, I weaved some of the faux washi from By the Wall for God and it just created a ton of layers and just kept on adding layer after layer with gesso, distressed products, some texture paste you can see back here. 
So there is just a ton of layers. Also that fabric washi again, um, just waiting until I liked it. That was basically what mixed media is to me is just keep on going until you like it. Eventually, most likely you'll probably like it, but sometimes it takes a lot of layers. Um, and then I added some mummy cloth behind here with some florals. Also some vellum foliage that I had previously cut out. This is my parents, or sorry, not my parents. This is my parents' wedding photo, but this is my grandparents' wedding invitation, the same one that is up here, just a different sizing. And I liked adding that just as a background piece. Then we have a little envelope again with the verse for new Romans 8, 29 and 30. I also included one of the little stamped um, postage stamps and added some glossy accents on top of that with this fun little frill of gold sequins. Okay, we're almost done, guys. This is a short little book, but it was so fun to work in. Um, this was one of those journaling cards with the churches. Love this little ephemera piece. And then tied a little bow of fabric. This is actually one of those chipboard frames from Tim Holtz. It matched perfectly with the colors of this kit. I added Hebrews 10:14 up here in those clear stickers to match my little ephemera piece. And then this is a photo of my grandma on her wedding day. And then guys, that is it. That is whole my whole booklet folio. I hope you enjoyed this quick little flip through of this. Um, if you did, please like and comment down below. If you haven't followed me over on Instagram yet, make sure you go check me out over there. Same name. And I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.